Um, I thought I would come and show you. Um, this is a card that I've made for my mum's 70th birthday. I actually saw this card on the internet by the Artful Stamping, Ruth the Artful Stamping. Loved it. Thought, what, wow, what an amazing card. So that's my take on her card. I've changed the colours. My mum's favourite colour is this kind of light blue, soft sky I've used in this case. Um, and I will go through various bits of this card quickly um, but what I wanted to show you was I mean this takes me back I sat there and thought oh should I show you this and I thought actually yes you know I, I learned this years ago um, but for, there's lots of new crafters all the time so I thought I'd come on and share it with you so just to kind of give you a rundown I mean this is a, a six by six card um, soft sky base I've put some um, silver glimmer paper in there and I've actually cut you won't be able to see it actually I've cut out the middle because otherwise what a waste of silver glimmer so literally that's just kind of a border of silver glimmer card then pear pizzazz is the other color that I've used um, and I've raised that up as you saw there just to give it some dimension soft sky on the background then I've done some stamping using the petal palette this just branch here has gone first generation and second generation stamping around the back there then everything else I think is put on that's it for stamping oh no 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 take that back um, I've stamped these these are actually from the painted harvest set so uh, you've got a choice of ones with actual veins on or just um, a solid image um, and I chose that one for these and you can see it gives it's not a flat image it's kind of a I would say painted so it's not supposed to be a flat solid image it gives a bit of dimension um, and they've been cut out with the punch as well but that's it for stamping the rest of it this these bits here and this bit here which is actually one bit cut in half and half end pushed in each um, actually comes from the petal palette um, or petals and more thin lit dies as they are I wasn't actually intending on doing all this which is why I haven't got it all out but there we go so that branch there is what this silver is and there's four there's one two three four um, and then this lovely lattice piece at the bottom here um, is what's been cut in half so you can see it's only that big there which is why I've just chopped it in half and put each in the end there so the Painted Harvest, um, as I say, it was in the Autumn Winter Catalogue, but it has carried over, so we can still use it, um, and you can still buy it. Whether or not um, it carries through to the main catalogue, um, you know, we will see. We will see, but it's still available at the moment. Um, so, yes, yeah, so they're punched out. Um, some stitched shapes. <laughs> always get that stitched shape circle dies so the largest die in pear pizzazz and then the next one down in soft sky you've got these large numbers I love the large numbers and the large letters they are a bit of an investment but kind of once you've got them you've got them for life and they're a perfect size great for um, card making but it, it, as well as scrapbooking as well they're a, they're a good good size um, so that's that I think that's kind of oh no there's some um, some of the glimmer paper that comes as part of the magical set or the magical suite gives you the green the turquoise and this white so I've cut out the swirly scribbles this die here and that's been cut out of the sort of white or clear glimmer paper there um, I think that's kind of it really I've added some of the glimmer dots as well the glitter dots so I've obviously chosen the sort of blue ones and the slightly whiter ones. They're the ones, uh, let's have a quick look. So I would have been more prepared if I was intending on doing this. There we go, you can see them there. So I've used, they, they go in an ombre effect. So I've used the lighter ones there rather than the darker ones. So there we go. Okay, so yeah, so I'm actually here to show you how to make these these little flowers. I say it's been years since I've I've done them, um, but they did look rather cute. So you can have them like this, and if you can see, if I hold them right up, can you see that I've put a rhinestone in the middle of each one? I don't know if that's going to show on camera or not. Hopefully it does. <laughs> so um, and there's various ways, but basically you start off with a circle. Now. There are dies out there that do this, but you really don't need them. And sometimes you don't need them the size, that the flower the size that uh, the die is. So just any size circle. And with scissors, you do not want to be precise. That is the big thing here. 
don't be precise but you're going to cut basically a spiral so go in there and again this bit here is going to be the height of your paper rose so again you don't want it too thin you don't want it too fat and in fact you do want it kind of varying but you're going to go round it doesn't matter if it's kind of um it's not a perfect circle or anything like that but you want to kind of end up and you will go a bit overly and you want to end up with a small sort of circle in the middle there so that's kind of what what i've cut there now I'll show you a couple of different things here. So this tiny little one here, I hope you can see, I've done this with a scallop circle, so you get all those little individual kind of leaves, as you like, as the scallop. So that's one of the new scallop oval punches, and it just gives a slightly different effect, that's all. So if you compare that to that, and you see the difference it depends what effect you want um and then this one what i've done so again you might want a bit more of a rustic look now those that know me know i like contemporary no i like clean and simple um but you would all you would do with this is you'd go around either with a you've, you've got special tools for this but a, a, a um, blade of a pair of scissors or your edge distresser if you've got one um, and you'd go literally round all those edges just distressing the edges a little bit so you can see it looks a little bit more torn um, and so you have that look instead um, but this time I thought another thing you can do is you can actually so I've just got soft sky ink here and a sponge dauber you can actually ink around just to give again a little bit more dimension You've got to go all the way around. Da, da, da. And go, keep going. I mean, obviously, I'm not, you can see I'm not doing it perfectly or anything like that because, to be fair, this top edge is the bit that you're going to see, but it will give some colouring down to it. Oh. And don't, don't worry about manhandling it either, because it's going to be all screwed up anyway. That'll do. <laughs> so there we go. That's it. Move that out of the way. So that's what you end up with. So you can now, if, you've got, if you're good at rolling, you can just start. So from this thin end, you're going to start. In fact, I'm going to roll that way. You can start rolling it. Oh, goodness me. You can see how fiddly it gets. So if you have a quilling tool, that's a good thing to do. I have a pair of tweezers. So I'm going to grab this end and I'm just going to roll. So see how I'm doing that? I'm just I'm keeping the tweezers still and I'm just rolling that round. And I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep this bit here all kind of let levelish as I can really you don't want it going all the way like that you want to keep it in place and just kind of keep that and as you get bigger it will start being not so perfect but that's all good doesn't matter and again you can if you do it as tight as you can to start with then what you can do when we get to this part so there we go so we've got to, as much as we can and then I've got like this the circle center and what I'm gonna do <laughs> she says what I'm gonna do is stick a glue dot now you could use a hot glue gun if you have one but you know who needs to go to the faff of doing that when you can just get out see now normally I'd use my tweezers for these but I'm gonna put a couple a couple oh look that's not sticking <laughs> you do know obviously that what you should do is take the paper to the glue dot because of course it's not going to stick strength because i inked the um center of my flower quite a bit and haven't let it dry before i've filmed this i've got industrial strength and gone red tape so we're still curling it round and then we're just going to sit the bottom on that center circle let go of the tweezers 
and there you go now you, before you stick it down if you want it a little bit um, wider so look at this one for example so on this one that's a lot wider than that one just because before I've stuck it down I've just let it go a little bit and then so the the coil is looser that's all and um, whereas that one is quite tight and then if you wanted to you could just trim round so you haven't got the big circle showing red tape nothing's gonna <laughs> I might speak too soon nothing's gonna um, come off of red tape but there we go and that's it and then all I've done is as I say placed a I've got a rhinestone and just placed it in the center but you can see a little bit of the sponging there and there we go and say that would be oops one for there and again I just use a glue dot on the bottom of there or again hot glue whatever you want to Tombow and just stick it and hold it if need be if you've used a wet glue and that's it so I hope you've liked the card um, thanks Artful Stamping for the initial idea um, I hope you like the change of colours and um, wishing my mum a happy 70th birthday thanks very much bye